But I love how the Course is saying, like, you are the light of the world and you bring the light with you. So I don't ever avoid any place. You know, I used, I used to, uh, I would love to go to shopping malls and a friend of mine would go with me and we would just go there to just pray and bless everyone and hug people and pour out all of our love from our heart as the light of the world. Meanwhile, my friend's girlfriend, she said, that is the haven of the ego. You must avoid malls at all costs. And I'm like, I'm not interested really in avoiding. I want to love. I'm not interested in being loved, but it's important for me to love, to, to use every situation, every opportunity as an opportunity to share the Beatitudes, to share the love, to bring the joy, to bring the light, to bring the lightness with me wherever I go. On a train ride, I'm coming down here and I'm in this Volkswagen van coming down here from the airport, from Schiphol Airport, and I'm in the front row. I've got a whole couch to myself with the driver, so I'm like stretched out on the couch, and he's like, you don't have to wear your seatbelt like that, but that's okay, because I've stretched it all the way across to give me lots of room there, and I have a great talk with the guy, and in a while he's talking, talking, talking with me, and then he starts, he just brings up Buddhism, he starts talking about Buddhism. He starts talking about different things, and then he says, "Oh, and I'm," ca he says, "I'm Catholic." I'm like, "Really?" And then we just had the best interaction. It was a holy encounter that lasted two hours coming down here, and he's telling me his whole life story. We're just having a ball in there, but w I'm here to connect. I don't care whether the topic is science, you know. I like science. I like to take it up into quantum physics and talk about the quantum field. Religion, I have nothing against religion. I think religion is peace of mind and I love having religious discussions and meeting missionaries and people all over the place, ministers on planes and whatever. Atheist, I adore atheists. We have so much fun. I think if they ever have a convention, worldwide convention, Atheists Unite, they should invite me to come <laughs> because uh, I'm just gonna love them up and I just love them. In fact, when I'm talking with them, you know, they're talking about God could never do this. And I'm like, right, <laughs> and God could never do that. I'm like, absolutely, I'm totally with you. And, and God would never have to do with like separating people and this is for God and this is against God. I said, I am absolutely with you. I have a wonderful talk with atheists everywhere I go. It's just like an affinity. Because what does Jesus say through his Course in Miracles, his psychotherapy pamphlet, his Song of Prayer? There's one point where Jesus says, belief in God is unnecessary where God can be but known. Score one for the atheist. <laughs> and then there are others that, that have strange ideas about God. They're very anthropomorphic. You know, God sounds very much like a human God. And that's the God that the atheist can't buy. Zapping tribes and getting angry and they say, that's ridiculous. A God that gets angry, I'm, like, I'm totally with you. I totally, <laughs> I'm totally aligned with you on that. And the point of our journey of forgiveness is to feel the connection and feel the love, to not try to separate, to not get into a tit for tat over be beliefs or theology. If there's only one belief, Jesus tells us, that takes us back to heaven, and that's forgiveness, I'm interested in joining in the experience of that belief. And to me, the way that I do that is I pray before my encounters and there Jesus just gives me the words to use. And he'll put me, he puts words in my mouth and they get all excited and light up, but it's all involuntary. I just have the prayer of my heart to connect with everyone. I, want to, I, I have no enemies, I'm here to connect with everyone everyone that I meet, everyone that I think about in my mind, I'm there to connect with. That's the only purpose of thinking about people, is to connect with them in a, in a sense of, of true, deep 
equality and love. So we're here together to, to come into an experience together and for me that is the most important thing. We're not here to debate theology. We're not here to compare and contrast the Course with the Bible or with the, the Gita or with the Quran. We're not here to compare and contrast different versions of the Course. Uh, we're not here to compare and contrast pathways that are said to be parallel to the Course. We're here to practice what has been given to us and by putting it into practice, by really giving our hearts over to it in a very devoted way, to go into an experience of that direct connection with God. God can be reached directly, but it also requires that we, we be devoted to that purpose. We be devoted to truly practicing forgiveness with everything that appears. <laughs>